So here at Waterfall Gully today, got a question about my book, Carb the Fuck Up. Someone called me, called myself and Philly calorie stuffers. And actually today, working on a new project with Sean from one of me today, we're talking about the calorie stuffing model. People often say, you guys eat too much fruit, it's too, it's too much, and you guys are too thin. People don't understand, this is a long-term process. This is not just a week or a cleanse or a fad or whatever. This is a long-term thing. So the information we give you might be in a, a 10-day format or a 30-day format, but this is for life. This is not a Michelle Bridges 12-week 12 12 body transformation, 1,200 calories a day, metabolic damage, thrash yourself out, and then you come to us, we're gaining some weight, and people go, oh my God, what's going on? They don't understand that. They don't understand that, and then they call us calorie stuffers. These people will never, ever succeed because they don't understand basic human physiology. If you've calorie restricted in the past, either on purpose or by accident, you've trained your body to become a calorie holder, a storer. So you can call us calorie stuffers, and we are calorie stuffers, and that's why we're so lean, we're so fit, and we can be productive and have that mental clarity because we have enough calories every day. And you've got to understand, me and Freely, we've been on this path for a long time. Myself, uh, April 2001, Freely, uh, February 2007 around about. So we've been on this program long term. If you look at other people long term in the low carb world, 99% of them are overweight. I'm not saying they're bad people, but you can judge by results versus theory, they're overweight. Calorie restriction doesn't work. Nature's not about calorie restriction. Nature's about eating the right foods as much as you want and being active and out there and doing stuff. I've met people in wheelchairs who've lost a lot of weight doing this lifestyle. It works for everyone. You don't have to be an elite at level athlete to benefit from it. Yeah, you will benefit if you're an elite level athlete. But if you're totally sedentary, if you're in a wheelchair, you still will only be able to eat. You will only be able to eat what you really need when it comes to carbohydrates. You cannot overeat carbohydrates. You can have a history of metabolic damage, and yeah, you might store some weight a bit, but eventually you'll hit a ceiling, and then you'll you'll go down like us. Everyone does. I've had some weight issues ten years ago. You know, twelve years ago. I was calorie restricting, not by choice, but just working and stuff like that. And then when I went to race in Belgium, I was just eating and catching up. My body was catching up. So I was putting on a few pounds, not a lot, but as a cyclist, it was considered a lot. I remember my director, Sport Eve, was looking at me like, you know, when I have my shirt off. So it's, it's understanding that everyone goes through it. You just got to go through it. But people who don't have the patience, persistence mentality will always fail. And you see them when they're 50 or 60 or 70, Still not getting it. So bottom line, long-term focus is what we want to educate. See you soon.